Okay, so here we are. We are live now. We are live now. Hmm. So good evening, everyone. I uh, hope you all are safe and you are staying at your home. And if you are you are maintaining social distancing, if you are going out. So uh, here we are again uh, uh, in uh, Facebook Live and uh, again with live spokesman session. So um, here today we have two um, of our students from Magic Spoken and they will introduce themselves afterwards. But before that, I would like to uh, say something briefly about Magic Spoken. So um, clearly and precisely, uh, as you are watching this uh, live right now, it means you have at least some sort of uh, idea what Magic Spoken is. Uh, so Magic Spoken is an institution where you can learn and or also you can brush up your uh, spoken English uh, skills if you want without any kind of pen, paper, lecture sheet or without learning too many new words. Yeah, that's right. We have our own way. Um, for uh, teaching spoken English without any kind of uh, inquiries or any kind of pen papers or gra like too many grammar rules and uh, basically the things that we are always scared of uh, when it's talking about uh, learning a new language. So yeah, that's that was um, a short introduction introduction um, uh, about our uh, institution Magic Spoken. So uh, now let's move on to our uh, real uh, part of today's. Uh, next session. So, uh, first, I would like to ask both of the participants to introduce themselves. So, um, Mr. Shorabdash, please unmute yourself and introduce yourself. Hello, Srija. Thank you, Srija. Uh, this is Shorabdash before you. I'm really delighted to hear, uh, to be here. You. Uh, this is Shorabdash before you. Uh, I, am, I just completed my postgraduate uh, at Tachi University. Uh, it was uh, almost uh, 2007, respectively. Uh, and uh, uh, now I'm a job seeker. And in this pandemic situation, uh, this portion, uh, it is uh, very tough to handle this, all these problems. And that's all myself. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Now, um, Mr. Uh, Shafin Rahman, please introduce yourself. Uh, thank you, Ms. Leja. Uh, I'm Shafin Rahman. I am from Uttara. I am private service holder. I done my BBA MBA from Southeast University 2012. Uh, I live with my family. That's it. Thank you, uh, both of the participants, for introducing themselves. And now uh, let's move on to the real part uh, where we are going to discuss about um, some topics. So today's topic is uh, time is changing rapidly and uh, bringing new changes. And are we really ready to cope with the changes? So we are going to have a short and briefly conversation uh, related to the topic. And um, hopefully we'll find it helpful. And uh, OK, so now um, I just want to say something about the uh, topic, why we uh, choose this one. So I think I, I reckon the topic should be addressed because um, Clearly, we can see the chain, time is changing and uh, the whole world is changing right now during this pandemic. And even after the pandemic, the, the real world, the world will change drastically. We can feel that. Um, so it's not only about uh, what we are doing right now. We are going through a really harsh time. And hopefully, we will, uh, we'll, we will uh, have somehow uh, face this problem and uh, we will be able to leave our a normal and general life again very soon uh, and um, we can feel the change right so where um, the drastic change and the very um, tough uh, and a really uh, significant change that we can see and that the impact of uh, our uh, science or maybe uh, the internet that's the first thing that we can uh, address uh, what if we say what are the changes that happening uh, through the pandemic and things, because we are have we are having our classes online, and we are many of us are doing a work from home. So we are uh, specifically dependent on um, uh, the network system, science, technology, ICT, and every everything and all. Or we will uh, talk about that later. So uh, I don't want to waste much time. 
uh, so now let's uh, move on to the session and where uh, we can talk with our participants they will say something about their uh, their uh, what they think about this and let's see okay so first uh, i would like to ask shorob dash to draw your um, what do you think about this topic and yeah please say something yeah this is a nice topic in my sense of view uh, in my life i have seen uh, many ups and downs uh, people have been um, kind to me and people have been let me down i have uh, done uh, good on the world i have achieved goals and i have um, I must uh, failed my uh, failed to achieve my goals but one thing that has always uh, remained consist within uh, the ups uh, time and the downs times uh, um, is called times and time is uh, never uh, stopped and we always uh, moved on time so uh, this was a, uh, so this is my explanation and uh, day by day uh, we face lots of problem uh, in this pandemic situation we know we all know um, about this pandemic situation um, because it's a curse for the, our world uh, in 2020 uh, and the day by day in uh, you if you get back uh, to uh, go in uh, 10 years ago then you just think you just imagine uh, there have no internet i guess uh, this type of internet station which i now used uh, like as a uh, 2g uh, 4g 4g and then this time we use just uh, 2g or uh, actually uh, this time we can't find uh, the uh, android mobile phone okay so uh, we can't proper use of internet uh, then this time but now it's uh, easily easily and uh, day by day uh, we used um, uh, facebook uh, facebook and um, uh, digital marketing we used to uh, actually day by day we just used to uh, our technology so we must need to develop ourselves we must to need to uh, update ourselves if we uh, don't update ourselves then time just going on man and uh, you can't uh, you can't uh, it's not possible for you uh, to going on with the time. So uh, at least the, uh, you must develop yourself because uh, day by day our computers are uh, increased. And in this pandemic situation, lots, lots of people, uh, they are uh, lost their jobs. <laughs> okay. And many uh, in, in Bangladesh, in uh, Bangladesh, it's a portion of uh, uh, unemployment day by day. Of uh, course, uh, in this uh, in this, uh, this pandemic situation, we face lots of hassle. Uh, lots of people uh, lost their job, and day by day, we saw that uh, lots of uh, like as uh, like as suppose uh, a general manager of bank, uh, but he uh, he doesn't know uh, to how to use uh, 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 ICT or uh, uh, computer technology, internet. There are lots of uh, lots of lackings uh, to us to us, and uh, we must develop ourselves because uh, uh, we need a. Uh, competitive uh, in, uh, in this uh, job markets. I am also be a job uh, job seekers actually. So uh, it's needed for us to uh, develop ourselves, uh, update ourselves. If we can't, if we don't update ourselves, we face lots of hassle in uh, a couple of months later or a couple of months, uh, couple of years later. Because uh, the com uh, competition is day by day increased. So that's all uh, myself. Thank you, Sija. Okay, so related as you have said that uh, you are seeking for job. Um, huh, okay, so as you have said that you are seeking for job right now. So I just want to ask uh, how this whole pandemic uh, affected you and uh, uh, or you can say how it affected the uh, people those are uh, seeking for job. Like, is there any kind of changes that you are facing, some sort of difficulties during the pandemic for uh, people are looking for a job out there? So, what, like, I have no idea about it because I am a student and uh, I just want to know about this. So, can you please elaborate? Okay, uh, this is a nice question. Uh, Suja, uh, we face pandemic situation and uh, it's a crush for our uh, world. Okay, not our country, it's almost our world. And uh, it depends, it depends on you. Uh, how can, in, in the whole year, in uh, last 2020 year, there we, we, uh, we uh, get, got lots of time. 
okay um, yeah, 12 months we got uh, so uh, if you proper use the time if you uh, develop uh, yourself update yourself um, i i got lots of private job but i i am re i'm really a job seeker got job seeker actually for that reason and you know that it's a hard hard uh, for nowadays cause uh, 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 in, in, if you think think the BCS applicant or any any kind of uh, government uh, job applicants uh, almost almost uh, one circular and they 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 decided to uh, provide uh, the seat have been like as uh, two forty four or five hundred but the, the applicant was here uh, almost two lakhs three lakhs and BCS to uh, ten lakhs above ten lakhs so uh, it's a, a big problem nowadays and uh, it actually depends yourself if you uh, do something if you uh, dedicate yourself uh, to achieve your goal you must successful in your life thank you Suja. Suja, we can't hear you oh extremely sorry Okay, thank you. Um, okay, so now it's time for Shafin Rahman. So, sir, I would like to ask the same question. Your topic is same. Uh, time is changing rapidly and bringing new uh, changes. Are we ready to cope with the situation? So, what would be your elaboration on this topic? Lovely question. Uh, actually, uh, we know uh, that uh, something we can't hold. That is time. We all need to accept change and challenges. In this pandemic situation, uh, life gives us a lot of change and challenges. Uh, if I sit in this lockdown situation, all uh, like us, like me, uh, we all no need to go outside of uh, work. We work in our home. Uh, like we can uh, don't need to uh, meet with our boss and uh, bosses together. Okay, so I think um, there's some sort of network connection problem with Shafin. Okay. Okay, so I'll get back to him again. I think there's some sort of problem. So, um, okay, so now uh, I would like to go back again to Shorab Dash. So, um, as we can see that we are too much dependent on online, online, online um, uh, what can I say, online based education. And, uh, and we are too much addicted to our phones and internet. Uh, and, um, what we think that uh, how do you uh, associate with the topic with time is changing and uh, Bangladesh is also going to be um, uh, turned into a digital Bangladesh. So if you can, so please tell something to the technology and how Bangladesh can develop or how what we can do from our perspective when uh, we can see that time is changing so as a student or as a as a job holder what we can do uh, for our country during this pandemic okay uh, thank you srija uh, actually uh, you just developed yourself because uh, if you can't uh, develop yourself uh, in this uh, laser time so how can you help your country Okay, if you have no quality, uh, how can you think I get a good job or something like that and I uh, must do something for, for our country? Uh, so it's not possible actually. Actually, it depends on you. How can you uh, uh, um, develop yourself and update yourself uh, with uh, time? Okay, and 
Uh, you know, you told the, told that in 2021, a digital Bangladesh. Yeah, our prime minister uh, told that uh, in 2021, they de declared uh, Bangladesh is a digital Bangladesh. Okay, and uh, we know we we know lots of things. We saw a lot of things like as metro rail. Uh, we can't imagine in Bangladesh uh, we we used metro rail. Okay, and our prime minister have uh, uh, told that uh, in 2030, almost 2030, uh, it was just totally complex in Bangladesh city and uh, the how can the, the if 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 uh, if then this time uh, we uh, face uh, we uh, don't kind of face any kind of hassle to communication system and uh, we must develop communication system so uh, a nation built by uh, developed a communication system communication is the most important things uh, in uh, a country or country's people or uh, develop your country actually and uh, throwing internet uh, actually uh, day by day phone is the uh, actually is a portion of our life because uh, every every time uh, you just uh, touch your phone or uh, go in facebook uh, facebook uh, like as in the online classes or something like that and uh, in this year we realized that uh, uh, how much important internet in our daily life because uh, in the whole year we face a pandemic situation uh, for that reason we can't go out our home so we depend on our phone and uh, our internet because uh, lots of uh, lacks of students are here uh, they're uh, doing their course by uh, through the online um, now now we just come into live and uh, live stream how can it possible by throwing technology but uh, lots of people nowadays lots of people doesn't know proper doesn't um, know proper use to technology okay uh, and technology uh, technical technology is the backbone of a nation uh, uh, if you think our uh, besides country like as China, India, uh, uh, Australia, they are developed country definitely. India is not developed country. It was also a de developing country, but Australia, China is developed country, and they just use proper uh, proper use uh, their technologies. <laughs> okay, so uh, it uh, actually depends on yourself. How can you develop yourself and um, what to do um, uh, for your country? Uh, uh, that's all, Srija. Thank you. We can't hear you, Srija. I made the same mistake again. Sorry. Okay, so it's time for um, Mrs. Shafin Rahman. Susa, are you here? Can you hear us? Yes, I am. Okay, so. Okay, so I would like to say, um, repeat the topic that uh, you didn't complete. Um, so time is changing rapidly and bringing new uh, changes. Are we ready to cope with the situation? So please, uh, you please continue your uh, conversation on the topic. Uh, yes, thank you so much. Sorry for my mistakes. In this pandemic situation, we all know that we, you know, we have a lot of ch changes and challenges in our life. So we need, uh, need to accept all of those. Uh, now, I, let me give some example. In this pandemic situation, I know it's hard, to, uh, hard for all to accept the lockdown situation. But if we see the bright side, we can see how the world changing and how the rapidly we are accepting so many things like no uh, like now we don't need to go out of meeting or classes for the exam uh, we can do it at home uh, the fun size is that uh, we can do meeting or classes in online so are you there Okay, so actually, maybe we're again he's having some problems. Okay. Okay. So, can you hear us? We can't hear you. Yes. Okay, you are done. You can hear me. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Thank you. I'm done. Thank you for your elaboration. 
okay so we are having quite an intense discussion about the topic like i am also not really familiar with the topic and uh, but still uh, i am trying to learn uh, many things from your perspective and also what do i think about it so now let's um, talk something about general related to the topic uh, so uh, my question again for uh, shafin rahman so sir as you have mentioned that uh, we can do um, online classes exams meetings on uh, like through the uh, internet we don't need to go out for this anymore and do you think uh, this is uh, somewhere uh, this this whole change is helping us because changes are always not positive it can be negative sometimes uh, we don't like the changes so uh, so what do you think is it it is is it seems quite helpful for you or uh, you uh, you feel uh, you feel good when you uh, get uh, got to go outside and you to your office and you just can uh, offline everything that was um, helpful for you which one is better uh, thank you for this question uh, in this situation i think uh, everything is uh, going to online so it's i think it's better for me because uh, if this situation if i go outside then my my family will be danger my friends will be danger if i affected any disease like corona so it's i think it's good for us in everything is online that's it okay yeah so uh, apparently you are um, supporting the online based uh, stuff cuz there is a kind of um, uh, debate going around the um, uh, like internet that in online in classes are good or offline was the better or uh, we are is, is we are uh, are we really uh, ready for the online everything online so uh, here we can say another thing like um, we are expecting the world will going to change after this whole uh, pandemic and uh, many institutions and uh, offices and job sector they are also trying to take their uh, work online full and many of the students like maybe not in our country but the rest of the world is trying really hard to uh, go online they, on everything they just want to uh, convert everything on online so that um, students and the job uh, like the people who are uh, uh, on the uh, service holder they don't need to go out so do you think um, our bangladesh will be also able to do the same as like any other developed country like is it really possible for us uh, to be fully online based and fully dependent on online uh, maybe after 5 years or 10 years can we really imagine something uh that our uh, our own bangladesh will also um do something like the other developed country so what do you think uh, how it's going to look bangladesh after 10 years so do you have any sort of imagination or uh, anything like that so this time um sure of that thank you srija uh yeah uh, we uh, um, i i think i think uh, the, our country uh, uh, one day uh, must change and uh, we uh, uh, will live in a developed country uh, definitely because uh, and uh, we know that in this in the pandemic situation in corona covid 19 uh, we uh, um, uh, lost uh, lots of things lots of neighbors are lost of uh, positive sign uh, but we just not lost the lost whole world so for that reason uh, you, you know that the current gdp uh, is uh, very poor but in bangladesh if you think if you saw in bangladesh uh, garment sector is still now second position how is it possible uh, it's it's a uh, good uh, good things uh, uh, for our country and if we polish ourselves uh, so uh, we must uh, do something to do something and uh, you told that uh, after uh, two to uh, five years or 10 years how can uh, i imagine our uh, country uh, you just think uh, you, uh, you get back uh, 10 years later then we can't imagine uh, 
online classes okay but uh, now we uh, still do online classes how is it possible it's possible uh, by our prime minister by us actually our uh, country's people so of course uh, 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 and day by day uh, rapid changing is uh, uh, must be needed for uh, my sense of view you uh, you told that there are lots of advantages and disadvantages definitely changes is uh, changes uh, negative changes and positive changes uh, they are all included um, uh, to go in changes okay but uh, in my sense of view uh, rapid changing is uh, needed for us because uh, it it's a portion of our life because uh, now now we uh, face uh, a problem okay uh, in 2020 we've, uh, we've just uh, uh, go our life in lockdown by lockdown and we can't in, uh, in uh, we couldn't go uh, we didn't um, go out uh, in, the, in our in our home so uh, how can we uh, running our education system by online by technology okay and uh, currently currently a uh, few couple of months later we must uh, introduce a new 5g okay so uh, it's uh, it's uh, depend uh, on uh, you and uh, our people country's people and uh, we told told you that uh, in metro rail podda setu uh, we can't imagine this type of thing but uh, it's just uh, now day by day part of our life we know that uh, how much uh, we face problem in podda setu and uh, metro rail but day by day we just solve and uh, you you saw that the uh, in mirpur sector for the uh, metro rail uh, uh, construction is now going on and it was working so the, in this pandemic situation uh, we uh, must face uh, lots of problem but one day after a uh, couple of years later we must imagine why not we must imagine the developed country um, uh, definitely thank you srijan Sija, we can't hear you. Of course. Okay. I'm not really used to with this It's kind nice. of. Um, That's okay. That's okay. It's happening. Okay, okay. So, uh, thank you. Now I'm gonna ask the same question to Mrs. Shafin Rahman. Uh, so, uh, sir, uh, what from your um, perspective, how you uh, imagine Bangladesh after ten years? for this question uh, if i look back uh, 10 years ago that bangladesh and this bangladesh there are spot difference between that and this bangladesh we can uh, we changing uh, the country is changing rapidly we can say we, uh, our already gdp uh, part um, person by uh, 1500 dollar plus that we can have that and uh, as if you saw the uh, in Kansa, in Dhaka city it's developing day by day rapidly we can see the material we can see the uh, over bridges all over the uh, city uh, after 10 years i think Bangladesh is the most beautiful city uh, all over the world. One of the most beautiful city all over the world. That's it. Yeah, please. sorry again sorry like uh, okay uh, so um, we are at the very um, ending of the live session so lastly i just wanted to ask uh, one question each of you like um, my question is uh, right now um, which one is the most important uh, among these three uh, education health or economy uh, if i have to say uh, you can pick only one of them among them then which one will you pick and uh, why why do you think that one is the most important that we should focus on right now uh, according to the country's perspective and uh, the country's welfare so um, mr shorabash actually 
actually uh, they are co-interrelated between each other you know that uh, but education is the most important thing uh, in our life in our country because uh, it's the backbone of a nation you know that so uh, a, a economy and health also depend uh, by your education because uh, a doctor uh, must complete it, uh, their education and after that uh, he is a doctor and after that uh, he is a good doctor and uh, he he do something for our world and he earn money um, for develop our economy okay so uh, uh, I think in my, my perspective of a view, uh, education is the best thing, but uh, these three are co-interrelated between each other. Thank you. Okay, so that was a nice diplomatic answer. The, the three of them are correlated with each other. Okay. Uh, so, uh, sir, now it's the same question for Shafin Rahman. So, sir, which one would you pick? like uh, health economy or um, education maybe the question might kind of sound a little bit uh, dumb because of course they both uh, the three of them are really important for a country and for uh, a country's development but which one should we pick at the very beginning because as we can see like we are um, right now right now we are just uh, uh, keep talking about like we shouldn't go out and uh, we shouldn't um, uh, like go to our workplace, but at the same time, we also need to focus on uh, our country's economy. Because it's not really possible for a developing country like us to stay back to our home for more than five months now. And it's not really um, possible for the students because uh, most of the students uh, in our country are from rural area. It's uh, again, it's really tough for them to just um, uh, use and they are not really familiar with the, uh, maybe most of them, like uh, some of them are no uh, internet and of course we are developing and people know about it. But still there are some uh, areas, some students, they can't really uh, per, uh, like buy a phone or they can't afford internet. And uh, that's the reason they are, maybe they are, um, they won't be able to uh, like attend their classes, university classes or school, college, anything you, you can say. So um, like that's the reason I'm just uh, throwing this question like uh, health, education, economy, which one uh, do you think are the most important right now? Chafin Rahman, sir. Uh, okay, thank you for this question. Uh, I think uh, uh, we should focus on education policy. If we uh, give them good education, then we can get good productivity from them. And um, it's it's focused on uh, every sector. Education is the backbone of nation. If they quali get quality full education system, then they can serve their country very good. That's it. Thank you, sir. So yeah, that was all for today's live session. And thank you, everyone. Who are watching us uh, live like uh, thank you for staying with us till the end and hopefully we will uh, come back again uh, next friday and uh, till then stay safe stay home and um, yeah hello nice. Trija. yeah Trija. yeah uh, I, I want to say something yes, about uh, magic is spoken uh, so uh, yes, magic please. spokens uh, uh, spokesman uh, we know Spoken, okay, but uh, spokesman is a portion of Magic Spoken. Uh, so uh, it's a great platform. I am also a student of Magic Spoken, but truly speaking, uh, and I know that I am not a good speaker. But spokesman session is a great platform to develop yourself. Of course, we know uh, what is English. We know the grammar or everything uh, in English, but it's we need we need to practice ourselves to improve our uh, skill so uh, please uh, everyone uh, can join here and spokesman station is a you know, it was a nice uh, nice uh, things uh, and a new invent actually in bangladesh so uh, you can uh, join here and uh, 
it must it's helpful because uh, if you think a native speaker like us uh, a canada's family like us, but their child is um, totally fluent in english how is it possible just listen and uh, they uh, create a environment and uh, we just do the work uh, in as a spokesman we just create a environment uh, they uh, we just uh, give you a platform or floor to speak uh, fluently if if you uh, told some uh, mistake if you uh, get some mistake doesn't matter but you if you speak then you learn something and uh, you develop your skills thank you srija thank you thank you so much yeah thank you mr shorabdash for addressing that and i was just about to finish the live session and uh, thank you for stopping me there and addressing this thing and yes of course uh, I, i think right now i just have a scope Uh, to speak about this topic related thing and uh, i would love to do that so um, as you have said that of course a canadian uh, family or a, like any other english speaking country uh, we always um, think like they can speak so fluently their uh, children can speak uh, like 100 times better than us like uh, yeah that's the misconception first of all we need to understand that they are just uh, they are creating that kind of environment for their children and they are continuously uh, uh, like uh, living around that english speaking uh, like environment and just like us we are continuously uh, listening bengali we are writing bengali and that's why we are fluent in bengali and th this is this applies the samely for any other language if you are learning french italian spanish anything it's not just about english so sometimes we get demotivated just because we are maybe we are not really uh, perfect just like the natives or we can't speak like an american we can't have uh, like we can't speak in a british accent or there are so many misconception and thinking go always um, uh, like having uh, we just have in our mind and uh, we know we know that but all we need is our dedication our practice of course practice practice and practice and um, you just need to immerse yourself when you are learning something new it's not just about a language it can be anything singing dancing anything uh, study anything you just need to focus on your goal you have to dedicate yourself fully dedicate dedication is really important and uh, practice again practice makes a man perfect and that is really true and um, yeah i think uh, that's all and uh, thank you so much everyone for joining the session and uh, have a nice day like nice night and uh, good night everyone thank you thank you thank you